the greatness of the country can be judged by the way its animals are treated said by mahatma gandhi students when you hear this line what are the different questions that arose in your mind why the animals has to be treated or how they have to be treated or what are its contributions to make a country great or what might happen if they are not taken care or given proper protection are we dependent on animals or they are dependent on us various questions arises in our mind to explore such questions today we will start the topic animal husbandry it is the sub topic of chapter improvement in food resources in your biology before proceeding further i would like to make you clear about what do you mean by animal husbandry it is the branch of agriculture that deals with feeding breeding and controlling diseases of different animals of animals what kind of animals we are talking about here here we are talking about the domestic animals i hope this term is not new for you all domestic animals means those animals which we keep at home for different purposes here we will talk about the four small topics that are cattle rearing cattle rearing apiculture and pc culture and one more topic we'll be discussing here that is here poultry in cattle rearing we will discuss about two different animals here okay one is milch animals milk animals are those animals that give us milk we know when we talk about the milks two names definitely comes into our mind cows and buffaloes and next is drought animals drought animals means those animals which helps in making our work easy by doing works like tilling pulling the cart etc so examples are horses ox etc in cattle rearing we will discuss about the different breeds of animals two types of breeds are there one is indigenous and another one is here exotic indigenous means indian breed indian breed that is found in our country exotic means foreign that means we import from the foreign countries so there are different kinds of animals which are made by crossing these two different types of animals indigenous and exotic let us discuss about some of the indigenous animals for cow 
In our country, there are nearly 30 different species are found. Some of them are very good in producing milk and some of them are for the drought work. In indigenous breed like Gir, Sahiwal, Red Sindhi are quite famous. Among these, Sahiwal is superior in milk production. And in exotic, in exotic breed, they are holistic means from they are from Holland then you will have um, Jersey from England Asire from Scotland Brown Swiss from Switzerland. There are many others which are very helpful in increasing the food production. And when we cross between these two indigenous and exotic we get new breed. For example current Swiss Current fries. These are the hybrid cow that we get in different places. They are also responsible for producing milk and for other purposes. Current fries gives about 3500 liters of milk during lactation period. Now, what do you mean by lactation period? It is the period after giving birth to the calf that gives milk. Lactation period. And to get good production, we should give proper shelter to them. So let us see what are the different characteristics of a shelter. What kind of shelter is to be given? To keep animal healthy, we should have the well ventilated place for them. The place where we are keeping the animals, it should be well ventilated. There should be the free movement of air. The ground should be slopy. So that all the excretors or the urine may flow easily. There should be also the proper supply of sunlight. Supplement of clean drinking water. Clean drinking water. The room should also be spacious so that they can be a easy movement. And the animals should be regularly breast. Why they should be regularly brushed? To keep them away from the dirt or small insects that may be harmful to them.